This is the seed in the northern Atlanta suburbs, which are pretty affluent and upscale. Uh, this is the race to replace Tom Price, who gave up his seat to become Donald Trump's Health and Human Services Secretary. Democrats are turning it into a referendum on President Trump. The question is whether or not all of the volunteers and cash that have flowed down here from around the country are enough to take 30-year-old former congressional aide John Ossoff over the 50 percent mark he needs to win without a runoff. He says it's possible. I think we could win it today. Um, and the intensity at the grassroots level here is unprecedented. It's got very little to do with me and everything to do with the times that we're living in and the kind of community this is. A mouthpiece for terrorists has been paying John Ossoff thousands of dollars. Fighting against restriction. Now, Republicans have thrown the kitchen sink at uh, John Ossoff to try to slow him down. You saw that ad trying to link him to Osama bin Laden. They've also talked about his youth and that just a few years ago he was pumping kegs in college. Uh, He's walking a fine line, however, because he's trying to tell Republicans that he can work with Donald Trump, but tell Democrats this. When President Trump embarrasses our country or acts recklessly, I'll hold him accountable. That's why I approve this message. Now, Republicans are also walking a fine line. Donald Trump remains popular within his party, but everybody's frustrated with the lack of action on health care. Here's the director of the Georgia Republican Party. When we go to the doors, we're not seeing anything that says, oh, well, we got to put somebody up there to start, stop President Trump. What Republicans want is Congress to start working with the president. Um, and they want to elect someone who's going to go up there and, yeah, they want somebody that's going to represent their values um, and work with the president to get things accomplished. Now, President Trump has got a huge interest in the race because he knows if he loses it, if John Ossoff wins, his agenda is going to face more resistance from Republicans. Tweeted out four times about the race, calling Ossoff a super liberal. Real question is going to be, can John Ossoff get from where he is right now in the polls, around 45 percent, way ahead of the divided Republican field? Can he get up to 50 and win it today? If he doesn't, his chances go down precipitously in a June 20th runoff that would be one-on-one -on -one with a single Republican guy. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.